one hour after Gary identified his ship as a harpoon vessel. It's huge. The Steve Irwin's crew has discovered that it was actually their ultimate target, the Nishin Maru. Where's the helicopter log? You think that log was the boat they saw? When we found out that it actually was the Nishin Maru, and we've lost valuable time, which when you're trying to catch up to a ship that's going just slightly less than your speed, it is actually really critical. This is the position. That's what I was going to go for. 3557 south. So it's approximately right in the middle of both of us. The crew thinks the factory ship is south of Indonesia and is now directly between the Stever one and the Bridget Bardot strongholds. Yeah, I'm just get out the binoculars. <laughs> It's almost too good to be true. It is. Without us actually trying to, we've kind of sandwiched the Nishin Maru between the Bardo and the Steve. Well, they're going down south, so we could just head about 20 miles ahead of them. Yeah, so I'm like sorry. Yeah, pretty good. 1,500 miles south, the Bob Barker waits in the whaling grounds, acting as the Sea Shepherd's safety net in case the factory ship slips past them up north. So tradition-wise, we have good news and bad news. The good news is they did find the Nishimaru. Yeah! 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 Really? Yeah, they had two targets on the radar. One turned out to be Ryder, and the other one turned out to be a Nishimaru. So. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so, so the bad news is. <laughs> that is a bad news. <laughs> Everybody is really pumped up because we found the mission tomorrow, even before they get down to the whaling grounds. Caught him with the pants down again. It's about time to get him a wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>